What is the purpose of a temple? A place where the poor and low class people beg outside and the rich and high class people beg inside. Now, this is in so many ways the definition of why we go to the temple today. Now, many of you may wonder, why did I choose such a controversial topic to give as an analogy? But here, simply the thing is, ever since I was little, when my parents used to take me to the temple, I always wondered whether the temple was actually built for this purpose that we are following in the modern time, or maybe was there a different purpose on why people visited the temple. Now, as I dug deep into that particular subject, I got some amazing revelations, which I think would be really interesting for you. Now, when we talk about the purpose of a temple, before we do that, I just want to talk about what the purpose of temple has become. And for that, I want to give you a small story of my experience alone. Now, around a few years back, when me and my parents had gone to a certain temple, you know, in India, we seem to have a rule of you say the person's name and the star sign and then the gentleman who's standing next to the deity says something in repetition and that is considered to be some sort of auspiciousness. Now, when this thing happened and when my mom started telling my name and my star sign, you should have seen the way that gentleman reacted. He reacted in a way like he couldn't care less and he really did not have much importance into what he was doing. It was in a way which you wouldn't normally expect from a priest. Now, I'll tell you why. The definition of a priest, as per ancient Indian scriptures, is someone who is well-versed in Vedas, someone who is well-versed in the Upanishads, and most importantly, someone who is well-versed in the Bhagavad Gita and so many, many other Indian scriptures. Only such a person qualifies to become a priest, not someone who has some sort of hostile, and not someone who drapes a white cloth around their body and chants a few mantras. You see, in so many ways, modern temple has started to get, you know, a negative reputation in the eyes of certain learned scholars or intellectuals, mainly because we forget the purpose of why a temple was built at all. Now, when we take a look at why we visit the temple, there is only one simple reason. We buy a ticket and we stand in a long, long, long queue. And once we finally get to see a particular deity, what do we ask for? Honestly, just pause the video one second and ask yourself, what do you ask for when you see an idol of God? The first thing many of us ask is, I hope I get a 5,000 rupee increase in my salary next month. Maybe I pass on all my exams. Maybe I want to rank number one in my 12th boards and so many, many other such things, which in one line can be defined as asking for your material aspirations. Now, when you go to a holy place as a temple and ask for your material aspirations, then what is the point of going to a temple? And I'm not asking this. The Bhagavad Gita asks this. If you are going into a temple, coming from a materially unsatisfied universe which is outside, and you're coming into a holy place, and you're asking the same thing, then what is the value of a temple being constructed? Now from here is where things start to get a little different when you dig a little deep into history. Now, when we focus on why a temple was built, it was built with the sole purpose of making you realize yourself. Because the world outside a temple is filled with so many emotions, is filled with so many goods and bads, and you don't know how things are going to change in an everyday life. The sole purpose of a temple is to gather people from all emotions, all walks of life, regardless of their differences or the situations that they are personally facing in their life, to give them a quiet place. Because not everybody could afford a quiet place, a place of peace where they can just think. You know, and before I go further, again, I want you to just pause the video and just think. We are all busy people, right? We are all busy people in modern times. But again, we do have some sort of free time. How many of you guys have five minutes a day to just sit idle? Just sit idle, not do anything. Just close your eyes and think. How many of us do that? 
I can bet you can count in one hand how many people do that. And I'm not talking about any sort of restrictions of going through your phone or talking to somebody, but just you and yourself just closing your eyes and sitting in one place. We don't do that, right? That is the very purpose on why a temple was built. Just give you a place where you do not have any distractions because you're coming in to have an experience to realize yourself and not to do some sort of prayers or rituals or anything, but just to realize yourself. And that can be attained only when you have a place of silence and peace, more importantly. Now, when we take a look back years, so many years back in our rich culture that this country possesses, we would see that in temples, they taught the art of Vedas, which basically is knowing how to live your life. And then Bhagavad Gita on how you have to deal with the problems that you face in your life. And so many other scriptures of the ancient Indian history to make you understand what life really means. But now, but now, just take a stark contrast on how we are today. A silent place. We have a loud, almost like a 5.1 audio. We have certain songs that are playing in the temple. And they say that the God will feel happy if such songs are played. But really, God wants you to come to a place to realize yourself and not for you to have a music session inside a temple. Now, the question that we need to ask ourselves is, why is there so much chaos and commotion in a place that is built and designed to be having a peaceful environment as a whole? Now that is something that we have to realize as individuals. And if every individual takes that step in realizing why a temple was built and not going and blindly prostrating before a God, slowly our society would become a better place than what it really was. So. When we go into a temple, I again repeat something that I asked at the start. What is the purpose of you visiting the temple? If you are visiting for a material gain, then the God that you worship says that that is not going to be granted. But if you worship to understand what is the realization of yourself, then such a wish will always be granted. Because when you realize, you see the truth. And what is that truth is something that only every individual can experience, as I've always said. So I'm going to leave it to you to decide on what is the purpose of the temple. Do you want to have a place of serenity and silence? Or do you want it to be a place where the poor beg outside and the rich beg inside? And that is the question that the Bhagavad Gita answers through this particular verse. And that's a wrap for this particular episode. And as always, Thank you for watching.